I'm going to create quick manager. We don't need explain these these two, so I just delete it. What I'm going to do over here, I'm going to first declare their object. We're going to declare the object, which is game object. Here, I'm going to write down the public game object, let's say Rick. And now we see have the public game object Rick. It's going to get the data from outside of the script. Public means you can use this data from outside of the script. Well, of course, it's going to be the Unity itself, but uh, yeah, just for that. And then the there is another way is private. Is private means it only going to understand inside of this single class. Let's check the uh, what's going on over here. So I just going to create the uh, brick manager. Now you will see here brick and then it says something now just like declared there is a brick object what we're going to use later we need to attach some game object it asks game object because we create public game object right so we need to attach any kind of game object over here well let's do it later to instantiate object and to spawn the object i'm just going to do it once inside of the start to spawn the object what we're going to use is actually instantiate and just bring your mouse to over there. It's going to show you how to use this, this language. So instantiate, what they need. You can see it needs the original object and it needs the vector three position and it needs a quaternion rotation. Okay, now I think we need to know what is a vector three position and quaternion rotation. When you build something or when you make the, some object in the real world, it always need to have the, some location, specific location, and it needs to look at some direction, right? And so in Rhino, we have the, some, always the coordinate and then we have the angles of the object, right? In the Unity, we need to have the uh, game object, which is what we're going to build. And for that is like the, the vector three, which is coordinate, which is location. And then the uh, quaternion, I think it's mathematic terms talking about the uh, angles. We need these two information to instantiate one object. So we need a vector three, right? I'm going to tell as a brick position equal new vector, for example, let's say 0, 0, 0, 0, right? And then we, not, we need your quaternion. Well, how to use quaternion is a little bit different. Quaternion, that identity means it's not gonna rotate the object. It's going to use uh, original angle of original object. If original angle was already rotated 45 degree, it show exactly the same as what it has. Just following this instruction, what we need is brick, and we're going to use the location of brick position, and brick rotation. That's it. Now we instantiate inside of the instantiate, we have the uh, what we're going to instantiate and where and which direction, right? And now we need to attach uh, the what which object we're going to use, right? To do that, we need to create the cube first. Let's reset the position. And since I said brick, let's create the kind of brick shape. And now let's change the name. I'll just change to brick object. And then to use this inside of the, uh, uh, the manager, of course, you can just directly drag and drop over here. Rather than that, go to the asset and go to the project. Let's create. Prefabs. So prefabs means prefabrication. I mean prefabricated model, let's say. It is exactly the same as blocks inside of the Rhino. Drag and drop from hierarchy here to here. That's it. That's how to make the prefabs. So now you see that the, uh, the icon has been changed to kind of blue-ish, right? And now we have the brick prefab which is same as block 
inside of the Rhino. We want to import or we want to load these prefabs by using Brick Manager. Now we don't see anything over here, but when I play this, now our block is popped up, right? Location of 0, 0, 0, it used the, uh, its own look, uh, rotation. So for example, if I bring it to 2, 0 0.5, and now it's, yeah, it has been created a little bit different, different location, which is, if I click this one, it will show the position, right? 2.05, which is I used. This is basically how to instantiate the object 